My name is Ali Ali and I'm a Yemeni, Bosnian, US multimedia artist. In flux, even the frame is upholstered, so there's this movement outward from something that is, you know, two-dimensional into becoming something three-dimensional. And within it, there's, yeah, the textiles and the patterns. Perhaps it's not moving, but you're moving. And there's, emotion, there's something about a shift that I hope to accomplish and achieve in the experience when somebody is looking at that. It's that relationship of you in front of another body that is essentially hidden in plain sight. And what are these sort of fabricated barriers in between us that are constantly shifting that questions what we know? I guess one could say that my art practice is actually the rejection of verbal language and it's embracing the other forms of language that ring to me more imaginative, more space and more room, um, whereas verbal language sort of is presented as a truth, but it very clearly isn't. Art kind of expands that notion um, as a language or as like multiple languages in which there's space for the imagination. For me, in a way, this particular mural is really special because I've had this opportunity to be alone in Roswell and be with myself and think about my ancestors of the past and of the future. And I think of language evolving so I don't know what it would look like 3,000 years from now. It is not something as didactic that can be sort of understood as we understand verbal language that, could, that has these strict rules. It is something that exists at the edge of what words are. In Borderland, I sort of set my own conditions, and one of them was when I was working with the masters, um, was actually thinking about the fact that it reflected the earth from where it came from. Um, whether it was cotton or the dyes, um, even the weaving that it came from the hands of people who were of the land. But I'm not interested in seeing what they look like. I'm not interested in showing are the differences of what our color of our faces or um, the color of our eyes, but I'm more interested in what their hands can produce, what their imaginations inspire 